Now here are two sheet metal brakes. Now these are inexpensive brakes, but they are suitable for the home shop. When I take my time getting them set up, clamping everything down, making sure that it's square, they do a respectable job. And when I say inexpensive, the first brake is probably 30 years old and I paid $18 for it. Today you can get it for like $25 or $30. The 30 inch brake, that's fairly new and I think I paid $60 for that. So let's take a look at these two brakes. This is my original 18 inch brake. As you can see, I've made some modifications. Welded it onto this strip of steel so that I can mount it right on the welding table. For me, the secret of using this brake and getting the results that I want is first by squaring it up, make sure that it's on the line, clamping it down tightly. Now this is a little tough right here because this is 20 gauge sheet metal and I'm doing it from the side so that I'm not in the road of the video. This is where it takes some time clamping it, unclamping it. You won't find this in a professional shop, a sheet metal shop. It just takes too much time to set up. But when I'm careful, I get a very good break or bend. One problem I do have with these breaks is when I'm doing something close to the edge, like a half inch, three-eighths, quarter inch, it will tend to creep on me. So just to make sure that I get it bent exactly where I want, I scribe a line. By scribing a line, I'm weakening the copper. So it's much more likely to bend right on the scribed line. Again, repeating the same thing that I did on the white piece of sheet metal. Clamping it down. Making sure that it's square. You'll notice that I'm just extra careful with this copper. I just don't want to mess up a piece of copper. And by taking my time, I get the results that I want. Good sharp bend. If you notice these nuts on top, one time I had a lot of repetitive breaking. So I drilled some holes and put these bolts in with the nuts on top, thinking that it would speed up the process. This is the 30 inch brake from Harbor Freight. And for this, I need a little deeper throat on the C-clamps. Oops, didn't plan ahead here. Need to swing these C-clamps out of the road. Now that wouldn't happen with an experienced sheet metal worker. But I don't do a lot of sheet metal work. So these are the kind of mistakes I make. And this brake is much better built than the 18 inch brake. Very nice break right here. And actually the radius of the bend is just a little tighter 
than with the 18 inch. And you can see the bar that goes across the top here is solid steel. So it obviously makes some difference in the sharpness of the bend. I'm impressed with this 30 inch brake and I'm anxious to see whether Harbor Freight's 18 inch brake is built as well as this 30 inch. This is the bar for the 18 inch and you can see that it is much lighter.